Hi. Today we're going to take a look at uh, accessing the Oracle VM uh, CLI. Um, just to demonstrate what we're going to be looking at, let's log into the Oracle VM Manager uh, interface. Uh, log in as admin and then your password. And now I'm going to switch to the uh, Servers and VMs tab. Now uh, from here, uh, we're going to go into the in the navigation pane. We're going to go into the server pools, and we'll see that I have one server pool here called Pool One. And then we're going to open that up, and then you'll see that I have uh, two uh, servers: my server one and my server two. Now we'll highlight Pool One, and then go over to the management pane, which is what this area is called. And we're going to change the perspective from servers to virtual machines. And now we can see all the virtual machines uh, that are part of this particular server pool, uh, which include uh, my server one, my server two, and then these VM guests. These are the objects we're going to look at in the CLI. So to start, we're going to go ahead and open up a terminal. Now the terminal that I have here is uh, fictional, um, but I uh, keep all of my uh, uh, scripts uh, that I use for automation of the CLI, of the, of the uh, user interface. Um, anyway, this can be any server. It doesn't have to be the Oracle VM Manager. It can be some other server you keep your scripts on. Um, you know, maybe your data center has a script server that it uses to access uh, other uh, machines and accomplish different tasks. Um, anyway, uh, at this point, we can now log into the CLI um, with, uh, you can use expect scripts or you can use SSH. Now I prefer SSH and use, uh, in this case, bash. Um, so we're going to use um, for my scripting. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use SSH. I'm going to log in as the admin, uh, like I would for the UI, uh, into my manager, whatever your manager name is. And then I'm going to access, you, you need, actually need to log into a service port of 10,000, which is the default. Now 10,000 is the default. But uh, you can customize this to a, a different service port if you want to, but that's beyond the scope of this particular presentation. Uh, anyway, uh, once you uh, uh, have this command there, then you can hit enter. Uh, it will prompt for a password. And again, this is something else you can customize with SSH uh, using SSH uh, keys, uh, private and public keys. You can bypass this, but that's also beyond uh, the scope of this particular presentation. Uh, anyway, you uh, type in the password and then you hit return uh, and then you get logged into the OVM prompt. Uh, now this is the actual CLI that we see here and there's several different commands uh, available to you. To see what those commands are, you can simply type in a question mark and hit return and it'll display all the possible commands that you can use within the CLI. And we're not going to review all of these commands uh, at this point in time. Um, but anyway, these uh, commands, the various and sundry commands that you have there will allow you to query objects uh, and get the attributes, the values of attributes, um, and it will also allow you to um, change attributes or values of attributes. So uh, anyway, these are a list of all the commands here. Uh, we're going to use the simplest one, which is list. It doesn't require anything but the name of the command and an object. To see the objects, you type in list and a question mark, and there you have it. Uh, you have all the different types of objects that you can operate on or get information about. Now this is very simple information that you get from these commands. Basically the name of the object uh, and the ID of the object. Uh, let's take a look. So we list server, and this will show us uh, the uh, my server one and my server two, as you can see right there, with the uh, object ID also. Now when I'm writing scripts, I tend to use the ID instead of the name, but that's just my personal preference. And I will still grab the name and parse that out of that, out of these strings when I'm operating on something to output, you know, print out a statement or echo a statement to the screen in my script to say, you know, I'm, I'm working on this server right now. Um, anyway, uh, now we can look at the VM guests uh, by typing list and VM. And here, we're now going to see all the VMs that are on this machine. Now notice that this list is longer than the list that you see in the background there in the uh, user interface. Um, that's because um, the templates are actually just VM guests in reality. Um, however, you can't start them or stop them 
like you can a regular VM guest. Now notice that on the, the templates I put, and this is my own personal preference, um, I give them common names of template and put in front of the, you know, uh, in front of the name so I know that I'm operating on a template. It's easy for me to recognize what this particular object is and I don't get confused uh, when I'm scripting or working on the CLI uh, with this. Anyway, uh, that's an uh, introduction to uh, the two very basic commands. To log out, you simply type in exit, and that will take us back to our script server. And that's basically our first lesson on accessing the CLI. Thank you.